Hello, in this video we're going to take this firm's cost equation and use it to derive the firm's production function. So here is the firm's cost equation. W is the price of labor, R is the rental rate of capital, the price of capital, and Q is the quantity of output. So we want to solve for the firm's production function as a function of labor and capital. To do that, we're going to derive conditional input demands. We're going to take the partial derivative of this cost equation with respect to the wage, and that will be our conditional input demand for labor, conditional on the level of output. So you see Q here is on the right-hand side. So the partial derivative will look like this. And the partial derivative of the cost equation with respect to the price of capital, or R, gives us the conditional input demand for capital. Again, conditional on the firm's output, Q. And we get this result. Let's take our conditional input demand for labor, and we're going to solve it for R divided by W. So we're going to simplify this and solve it for R divided by W. So moving Q over to the left-hand side, dividing through by Q. So dividing through by Q. And then squaring both sides, we have an expression for R divided by W. We're going to do a similar thing for this K equation, this conditional input demand for capital. We're going to take this equation. We're also going to solve it for R divided by W. So taking the capital equation and solving for R divided by W, we're going to first move Q over to the left-hand side, and they're going to divide through by Q. And then we can square both sides. And then we want R divided by W. So doing that, we get this result here, taking the reciprocal of both sides. gives us this result. So we have two R divided by W equations. We're going to set these two equations equal to one another. And then we're going to solve for Q. And that Q then will be our production function. So taking the square root of both sides gives us this result. Multiplying through by Q. And now multiplying through by K minus Q. Simplifying the right-hand side. The Q squareds cancel. moving some things around, factoring out a Q term on the left-hand side, and now dividing through by K plus L, we have the firm's production function. All right, that's it.